watching KSL News at 6. With the weather heating up, there are renewed calls for people to stay away from what's left of the avalanche at Bridalville Falls. New specialist Lad Egan joins us with a new safety warning and an update on when the popular area might reopen to the public. Lad. You know, managing the safety concerns here at Bridalville Falls has been an ongoing issue for the Sheriff's Department. And you can see behind me here, the melting of the avalanche deposit has accelerated. It's revealing some of the damage to the trail below and the warmer temperatures this weekend are expected to speed up that melting. Utah County Public Works says the Provo River Trail won't reopen until at least the end of July. They need to wait for more of the snow and ice to melt to evaluate the damage and then make repairs. The bridge is destroyed and the paved sections could have damage from the large boulders in the avalanche. The Sheriff's Office reminds that the area is closed and that it's dangerous to climb on the thinning ice and snow because you could fall into a cavern. They're in an area that they think is 10 feet deep of snow and it's only two or three inches and they fall through, it could uh, cause very serious injuries to them. Law enforcement hasn't been issuing citations to those who go around the trail close signs, but they want everyone to be aware of the danger. We want people to stay away from it. We understand how attractive this area is and how much people want to get here and enjoy it as much as they can, but it will get open again. It's probably gonna be the better part of another month. So be patient, find another place to go and enjoy. Earlier this month, they eliminated one of the main safety hazards by blowing up the ice bridge over the Provo River. It was done to prevent people from falling through and also to keep thrill seekers away. So we got rid of that. That doesn't remove all the danger here, but it did remove a large part of the danger. Another danger, the Provo River still running high because of releases from reservoirs above. Cannon cautions those visiting the canyon to avoid the rushing water. Stay away from the water. If you're with children up here, don't just keep an eye on them, keep a hand on them. And Sergeant Cannon says this avalanche deposit is melting from the top down, but also from below because of the water running underneath it. He says they're constantly uh, assessing this area so that they can determine how forceful they need to be in keeping people away. Reporting in Provo Canyon, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.